Hi, Mark Leapart here, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation course. In this section, I will cover the planning for the install of Big Fix. Let's get started. So, here's some questions you need to ask yourself. How big is my environment going to be? Am I managing five endpoints? Am I managing 50,000 endpoints? Do I have one data center? Do I have data centers across the world? Do I have to deal with uh, endpoints that are only in my data center or are endpoints also in the internet? Do I have to deal with the devices that, uh, you know, they're not in my data center, they're not on a VPN. Uh, so you have to plan for that. What's your database? Is it going to be a local database, which we recommend because we do a lot of little reads and writes and it's just faster. Or is it a remote database? Either way, um, you can you you can use either one. They work very similar. Uh, it's your call. How many concurrent users are going to be accessing your Big Fix console? If you have a really large environment, we recommend you set up a Citrix farm to host those consoles. Um, a console can be uh, memory intensive. So keep that in mind, uh, you know, it's not unknown to see a uh, console loaded up with three plus gig of RAM. Web UI, where are you gonna host your web UI? As I stated in the earlier uh, session, session one, uh, we recommend that your web UI is a standalone. Uh, if you're in a very small environment, uh, 500 or so endpoints, you can probably put it on your Big fix root server, um, but a lot of uh, content is going into the web UI, so uh, probably best if you had it as a standalone. Uh, mentioned a little bit on how spread out are your environments, how uh, your endpoints, how where are they? Um, so, you know, if you have multiple data centers, you're going to want to put relays in those data centers, and you want your relays to be uh, available uh, as a failover type situation. So if uh, one relay goes down, you don't want your endpoints that are in New York uh, trying to connect to a relay in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, so put your relays uh, locally appropriate for your environment. Um, where are you gonna host your big fix server and your infrastructure? Is it going to be in a public cloud or private cloud? Uh, some things to pay attention to. Uh, not all the uh, clouds allow UDP outbound. Uh, so uh, if you're using a cloud that doesn't allow UDP across its boundaries into the internet, then you'll probably want to put a relay outside of your cloud. Uh, food for thought. Some sizing considerations. So uh, for a typical environment, uh, 5,000 odd endpoints, couple of data centers, uh, five uh, console operators. Uh, so you're looking at a big fix server with uh, four to six cores, 12 to 18 gig of RAM, two to 300 gig of disk. If you're using tools like OS deployment and you have lots of images, you may need to increase that size. Um, big fix relays, uh, a minimum of two cores, uh, at least four gig of RAM, and uh, again, some disk space. Uh, depending on the products you're using, you may need to have more disk space or you can get by with less. Uh, the web UI server, uh, recommend it to be two to four cores, uh, four to six to eight gig of RAM with at least 100 uh, gig of disk. Um, so these are just some uh, numbers that uh, they've done through uh, testing and uh, your mileage may vary. For more details on the architecture, you can visit this uh, URL and you can read about it in the product documentation. Uh, this ends the section on sizing your big fix environment. Thank you.